so welcome to pv tech and in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually connect dstv Explorer decoder and dstv smart lmb if you are to do any type of installation that you need to do to connect your smart lmb and an extra decoder so the first thing that you need to know is that with Explorer decoder there's an exploratory a decoder dstv Explorer. all right so when it comes to Explorer decoder, you can only install it with a Unicable LMB. As you can see at the back here, the LMB imports, they have indicated as an Unicable LMB. Okay, so you can install it with only Unicable LMB. Which means that whenever you are using a universal LMB such as this one, you won't get a signal working on the Explorer decoder although you're gonna get a signal from the satellite dish but it won't work on the Explorer decoder so you need either a DSD smart switch which you get a smart the unique cable port on it which will get you a unique cable signal onto your Explorer decoder or a DSD smart LMB which you already have a unique cable port plus the universal port so with a unique cable port, as you can see, we have the universal ports on the smart LMB over here. And we have the unique cable A, B, and C. All right. <coughs> so when it comes to installing the extra decoder without doing an extra view installation, you just have to just insert in a cable onto any of these three ports and you are good to go. So you can insert it in the port A, port B, or port C and is gonna work after getting a stable signal from your satellite dish it will work successfully for you all right so you don't have to insert in a cable from the universal port, which is this one you need to avoid the universal port and then use the other three unique cable ports over here and it's gonna work so that's it and Whenever you are using a satellite finder to track, maybe you first install the LMB, smart LMB to track, you need to use the universal port to track the signal since your satellite finder may not have a unique cable option. If you have a unique cable option, you can also insert the cable at a unique cable port and then change the settings on the finder to a unique cable and you want to get a signal working right there so that's it if you find this video helpful and when you're here all you got to do is subscribe hit the bell icon and you keep coming back from thanks for watching